In this video, we'll check the pentatonic shapes you can play all across the neck. A lot of us think about the pentatonic as this shape. The thing is, it's not wrong, but it's not the whole truth. I'm gonna show you a few building blocks to this position that will make everything really easy. I'll be sharing a few tips about the pentatonic that I believe will be helpful for over 95% of guitar players out there. So if you wanna know more about guitar, check this out. The third step for us is understanding the three note pattern. Indeed, three. We're not at five just yet. A, C, and D. So one, flat three, and four. Okay. Now, I can play the same idea on the lower string. And it is important for us to be able to see that A, this A, or this A, because we can then... If this video helps even a little bit, please subscribe. It would really mean a lot. Thank you. We have these anchor points of the tonic of the scale, which is A, then I can play that little melody. If you do need the positions, they will be at the end of the video. Five positions for this pentatonic scale. Now, I'm gonna expand that melody in one more note. So we have four. So A, C, D, and slide to E. Right, and that sounds like almost like, almost like a minor triad. I mean, it is a minor triad with, with a four. So, and I'll play it in another octave. And it's important for us to see that and hear that the sound is the same. I made a gem track so you can practice this A minor pentatonic idea with these patterns. If you want to get it, it's here, free, link also in the bio. I know it is simple, but actually it will allow a lot of freedom very shortly. Let's hear it on the groove. Even just that, I'm playing four notes, not even the pentatonic just yet, but this already sounds like music. The next note we're gonna add is the G, so. But I'm gonna approach it in two ways. First of all, I can see the A minor triad with the four, right? So we have this kind of pattern here, and then the G, whole step beneath it. Ooh, if you want a PDF, there is a PDF for this whole lesson on Patreon. Check it out. We can see the pattern in two very cool ways. So first we can hear that minor triad and have the four in the middle and then the G. And of course I can shift the octave, it's the same thing, even the same fingering. Or even higher. But what's cool about it is that I can take the first cell of melody and playing that from the E, I'm getting the full pentatonic scale. Check it out. Because, and then, then the whole scale. For us, what is important is to start seeing the patterns and being able to shift them. And I can take this idea and make a little line. For example. Although this line can sound complicated, it's actually just the scale. And bending that D to the flat five. Now, the same way that I'm thinking about this in two octaves, I can do also three octaves. So the same idea, we have this pattern, right? And it's very important to see the shape. Remember, there's no one correct way to hear and see things, but we want to expand our vocabulary so we see things in different way. And sometimes grouping them in two, three or four note patterns can actually free up a lot of information. If we want to do it in three octaves, we can do it like so. We can keep the same fingering, so that's easier, it's totally fine. Whatever you want to do, as long as you see the patterns that we 
have within the pentatonic. Because then what happens is it's not just a position, but we can see these. One of the reasons this is so strong and helpful is because once we see this A, we're always safe because we can calculate where we are in relation to that note. So basically, you can always know where you are with the sound of the pentatonic in your ears and seeing these little patterns and not only full-blown positions. Now, there's nothing wrong with seeing the positions and I think it's very helpful, but the thing is we want to create as much freedom for ourselves as possible. And by thinking about this A and this center in a certain way, one, flat three, four, five, flat seven, one, we actually allow a lot of freedom. And I know sometimes, again, it takes a minute to see the patterns, even if it's just three or four notes, but the thing is, it will make you much, much freer when you're improvising and hearing lines. Now I'm gonna take this idea and solo with the three octaves. Like you can see, I'm really clinging to this idea of the position and seeing these A's is super helpful and you can hear the center again and again. And this is something that I feel a lot of people are lacking when sewing, is hearing the center in a clear way and being able to move around the positions freely. Now, of course it takes time, but seeing the same idea of the pentatonic, the good old familiar pentatonic in a different light, in a different angle, will really help unlocking that. Another really cool thing you can do to break the positions is taking two strings, sliding, ascending. You can choose any set of strings. For example, these two might be a little harder. The idea is to push our limitations so we can express as freely as possible. Position one. And always thinking about the notes that I'm playing in relationship to the A. What is this? G, A. Okay. Position two, the familiar one. Position three, still think about the A as a center. Position four, still thinking and hearing it as an A. If you need to slide it back so you hear it, do that. Position five. Thank you so much for being here and listening. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out.